In this video, you will learn that how to make RFID based lock or security system. So let's make this circuit. Pick the components. Pick the Arduino. Relay. LEDs. Red and green. Double click on it and then double click on it. Also choose the buzzer as well. Now choose the battery as well. LCD as well please. I'm choosing the 20 cross 4 you can choose any model. But oh, then you have to write code according to the uh, relay characters and uh, its bits. Yeah, this is 20 cross 4 relay so this means that uh, uh, this is the 4 lines and 20 character display. If you are using 16 cross 2 that means that that will display only 2 lines and uh, the character should be 16. So let's make the circuit. Make the connections as I am doing. Now connect the LEDs. The green LED should be connected with 6 and red should be connected with 5. Connect the red firstly now green now choose the relay Connect the relay pin with the pin 7. Buzzer. Now connect the ground where required. And here as well. Now connect the power where required like Arduino and LCD. Now Choose the virtual terminal and we will use it as a RFID reader. As you know that RFID reader is not available in the Proteus so we will use this virtual terminal as an RFID reader. So place it here and then connect the TX pin of the virtual terminal to the RX pin of Arduino. So it we will only send the data with the help of this reader to the Arduino and we will not get any data from the Arduino. The RFID tag and card have a unique number. Every, every card have their unique number. So whenever the card is swept in front of the reader, then Arduino save that number in its programming. Whenever the card is swept in front of the reader, the reader will save the card number and then will provide to the Arduino and then Arduino will work according to the instruction provided by the programmer in its code. So now write a code for it and here you can see that code has been written already. You can 
uh, check it and comments are almost written with uh, every line but here you can see that uh, uh, here i have provided the card numbers and i have noted here you can see that the card number are already added in the database of the Arduino code so whenever these cards are swept in front of the reader so these are the valid cards while other than these the others should be invalid so here you can see that this card is saved here in according and also i have given a name to this as well as this card is assigned to the altaf you can rename it as well so let's check how it works so run it and now copy the hex file address from here select it and now press the ctrl c now paste the code here and now run the simulation now here you can see that the, my channel name the bright light and uh, on second line you can uh, see the uh, project name rfid based block system also you can say it to security system here it will display the card that whether it's a valid or non-valid and here it will display the name of the person so this is the rfid reader and uh, here we will uh, swipe the numbers of uh, the RFID card and then it will check whether this is valid or not valid and the LEDs and the buzzer will act accordingly please ground the relay as well we have left that and make it 5 volt instead of 12 volt also make the voltage 12 instead of 1.5 now run the code and here we will paste the card numbers and then it will act accordingly so these are the card numbers so now let me copy this number and i will paste here but please right click on it and then uh, open the eco typing character so it will display the numbers here as well now i'm pasting the card and here you can see that its name is uh, altaf and the card is valid here you can see that green led is turned on this means that this was the valid card so now if i put any other card number and uh, let me paste this one as this is the invalid so it should show that the card is invalid paste it and you can see that it's unavailable and unknown also the buzzer is turned on for a few milliseconds you can increase the delay as well here you can see that the buzzer is turned on for just 200 millisecond if i change from 2 to 5 so let's check its reaction then as this is the invalid so let me choose this one as well now stop the code and now run it again and paste the invalid code you can see here the red led is turned on it's uh, invalid and unknown person now check the remaining cards as well let me put this one up it and then paste it here here you can see its name is khalid and it's a valid card also the green LED is turned on now check another one you can choose any one here you can see it's valid and its name is Mehran the green LED is turned on this uh, uh, buzzer should be re can be replaced and uh, if you want to add a electronic lock like this you can edit and just uh, uh, how you will add that just replace it with a buzzer and if you want to uh, use the buzzer as well so uh, make this 5 fold buzzer 
and uh, that should be connected with any other pin and uh, you can also connect it with a red as well as green led is red led is also connected with a five pin so you can connect the five volt buzzer as well here and then replace the buzzer with just the electronic lock and then it will work accordingly now let me paste another card let me place paste it again and check the direction here you can see it's valid card and its name is altaf now let me check this one here you can see it's a valid card and its name is amir the green led is also blinking the red led and the buzzer will only be turned on whenever the invalid card is saved in front of invalid card means that the card will not be saved in the database and that will not be registered in uh, this program you can see here it's an invalid as well let me play paste it and then check the reaction you can see here invalid unknown and uh, buzzer was also turned on for a few sec millisecond now let me check it as well here you can see you can check all the cards i have attached the card numbers as well with the link provided in the description from there you can download the code and the circuit as well also the card number the card numbers are also attached there So here you can see its name is Imran and its valid card. And in this way you can add any other cards as well. So this was the project of RFID based lock and security system. If you like the project, please subscribe my channel, like and share the video. Also visit my channel for more videos related to Arduino. Thanks for watching.